Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about two devices that keep the internet flowing but often get mixed up. The modem and the router. Yep, it's time to finally clear up the confusion. I know you've probably heard these terms tossed around. Maybe your ISP, Internet Service Provider, said you need a modem router combo, or your friend swears their new router makes their internet faster. But what does all this actually mean? Let's start with the modem. Think of the modem as your bridge to the internet. It's the device that takes the data from your ISP, the internet signal, and makes it usable for your home or office network. It's converting signals back and forth, digital to analog and vice versa. So without a modem? No internet access for you. Most modems are single port devices, meaning they can connect to one device at a time. And that's where the router steps in. A router is your local network's traffic cop. It directs data between multiple devices on your network and connects them to the modem, which then connects to the internet. It's what allows you to have Wi-Fi in your house or run Ethernet cables to multiple devices. Here's a real-world analogy. Imagine the internet is like a big river of data. Your modem is like a water treatment plant. It's the first stop for that raw data. Once it's clean and usable, the router is the pump station, sending that data, or water, through pipes to different faucets in your house. Each faucet is like a different device. So what happens if you only have a modem? Well, you'll get internet, but it's a one-device deal. Your laptop could plug in, but your phone, gaming console, or smart TV are out of luck. If you only have a router, though, you're just making a local network. Your devices can talk to each other, but no internet. The router needs the modem to reach the outside world. Now you might be thinking, but I have this one device that's called a modem and a router. What's that about? Good question. Many ISPs now give out combo devices that include both the modem and router in one box. These combos are convenient, but they're not always as powerful as standalone devices. With a combo, you might have less control over your network setup, and if one part fails, the whole device can be affected. For those of you in IT or cybersecurity, there's something crucial to think about. Routers often have more features you can customize, like firewalls, VPN settings, and network monitoring options. This is especially important for security. With the right configuration, your router can act as a solid first line of defense against threats. So, to sum it up, a modem connects you to the internet, a router connects multiple devices on a local network, and a combo device gives you both, but with fewer customizations. For power users, a standalone modem and a high-quality router are usually the way to go. I hope that clears things up. Next time you're working on a network or upgrading your home setup, you'll know exactly what you need and why. If you're into information technology, knowing how these devices work will help you understand where threats can come from and how to set up a more secure network. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe to stay connected for upcoming contents. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.